The Israel-Gaza war, which began with the Hamas massacre in Israel on October 7th, is very much on our minds. This course will be about three questions that this greatest crisis in Israel's history raises. Why did these events break out last fall? Why has the Israeli-Palestinian conflict persisted for over a century? Will it ever be possible to arrive at a peaceful resolution of this conflict? I believe that a key to answering these questions is to realize that this conflict over the land that we Jews call Israel and that the Arabs call Palestine is driven by narratives. The narratives that the people of each side tell themselves and others about the nature of the conflict. Examples of such narratives can be captured in claims made by both sides. Our side came to this land first, and your side is a newcomer, claiming ownership to which you do not have a right. The land belongs to us, not to you. In your fighting, you are the aggressor, and in our fighting, we are acting only in self-defense. We are the good guys in this conflict, and you are the bad guys. We are the reasonable party in this conflict, and you are the unreasonable party. We do not need to change our approach to the conflict, but you do need to change your approach if there's ever to be peace. So in this course, we will read historical documents, view video documentaries, and study historical analyses of the conflicting narratives that have been at the heart of this conflict. And we will also explore the attempts of people on both sides to transcend those conflicting narratives and to make peace. I acknowledge that as Jews, we feel a strong loyalty to Israel's narrative. We believe that Israel has a right to exist. The Zionism is justified by the fact that Israel is the ancient homeland of the Jews. That given the long history of anti-Semitism and the persistence of anti-Semitism to this day, it is imperative that the Jews have a state that will bring them security and that Israel continues to be an inspiring country in which Jewish culture can flourish. It is likely that you will find it challenging to learn about the Palestinian narrative which opposes this Israeli narrative. But I think it is important that we learn not only our own narrative, but also that of the Palestinians. In the end, the only hope for peace is the willingness of each side of the conflict to understand where the other side is coming from and how these two sides can arrive at the compromise that will allow them to live together in peace. I look forward to studying about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict with you in this Mea Select course.